Hey guys, Anthony here. It's Wednesday, July 26, 2023. Wanted to make a quick video this morning regarding, um, what's his name, Jason Aldean's song, Try That in a Small Town. And um, I heard the song in pieces uh, recently. I saw pieces of the video. Uh, I won't watch the whole thing. I'm not a big uh, country music follower. I do know the name, some of the names of the top performers. Uh, and um, I did hear the lyrics to this song. And uh, I know that there's a lot going on right now with a backlash against Jason Aldean. I don't even think he wrote the song. Um, but what I wanted to convey this morning is the riots that happened a few years back that literally destroyed and burned down cities and how they were organized and the command and control structure what was uh, how they came about uh, all of that has not been investigated nor has it been uh, brought up by uh, many of these people that are coming against Jason Aldean for this song they just seem to be harping on what the lyrics say here, what the video showed, uh, calling it racist, whatever it is. And listen, I don't particularly care about the song. I don't watch it. I'm not interested in hearing the lyrics. What I know is that the, the powers, let's call them that, the powers that be that control the strings of these puppets uh, in the music industry and in Hollywood, political puppets on both sides of the aisle, uh, the people that really control them, their goal, and listen carefully to this, their goal is to divide the country, divide and conquer this country. And we're seeing that being played out. It played out during the big C thing that we went through. It's going to continue to play out in events that even haven't happened yet and that are being planned right now moving forward. So you have to understand what's going on. That's the most important thing. And my message today is do not get sucked into the left-right paradigm, get in stuck with the argument defending him making this song, where there are so many other songs out there that promote you know, violence against women and gun violence and violence against police and stuff like that that come out every day and no one bats an eye to and everyone listens to uh, like they're, you know, like it's just second nature. Uh, so they choose to make this a, divis a divisive, divisive topic uh, on purpose. That's the goal. Okay, they want to divide America while they go about their business of uh, putting um, more foundation in place to make this country something that it wasn't uh, supposed to be. So that's my message today is that um, stay out of, and as I've talked about in other videos that I've made recently, stay out of the political process. The left and rights are both on the same team. Uh, they are uh, pulling your heartstrings in some cases, getting you to think that there is, you know, that your vote matters and elections, uh, elections matter. On the presidential level and the upper levels, uh, people are selected. Presidents are selected. They're not elected. So um, if you think that, um, again, uh, the right, somebody running on the right or the conservative ticket is going to save and all of a sudden come into office and change everything and get everything back to uh, whatever we think is normal, um, you uh, are really, it's really wishful thinking is what I'm saying. And uh, we've seen on the left uh, with the current presidency that's in there now, I mean, it's almost laughable thinking that, you know, Joe Biden is really, you know, doing anything constructive. He's being put out there so the people behind him and I went out on, on uh, other videos and said this who the real president is everyone knows uh, that actually has a head on their shoulders knows who the real president is who's pulling the strings and uh, let's just leave it at that and 
I think I'll make a prediction. I think they've run the course with Joe Biden. I think they're going to push him out, and we're seeing that set up right now. Uh, what's all that's happening in the news with his family and uh, the business dealings that have gone on over the years. So you, I, I would say look to see Joe Biden phase out uh, for 2024 and somebody else uh, be brought in. That's just my prediction. Whether that'll happen or not, I'm not sure, but that's my prediction. So don't get caught up with this Jason Aldean bullcrap. Um, stay out of it. Stay back. Um, all they want to do is get black fighting white, white fighting black, country div divided, um, transgender, uh, transgender agenda pushed. They just want to keep pushing stuff in your face to see what sticks, to see what works best, to con continue to divide the nation. So that's my two cents on the matter. Uh, stay out, stay, keep your nose in scripture, uh, pray because we need it. Uh, there's a big events coming up that are going to uh, shake us to our core. And um, I'll talk more about those in future videos. But uh, know this, that uh, the powers that be really do not care about the rank and file uh, American family and what they're going through, the hardships they're having, and what's going on. So that's my two cents today. Thanks for watching. Uh, Anthony signing off. Take care and stay ready.